Holy crap, guys, today, June 3rd, 2024, Spirit Halloween has officially released the information for the new theme for the 2024 season. Today, I am here with my little shoulder buddy friend to make sure that I don't read the map wrong with my one eye. And if we go look on the website right here, right now, guys, they have all the information right there. The first thing is that it says, welcome to the carnival or carn evil. And something tells me that it is going to be a super evil Halloween season at Spirit Halloween. Wouldn't you say, buddy? All right, guys, so let's just look at this thing piece by piece. It tells us the main attractions. It tells us what they're featuring. World-famous entertainers, blasts from the past. That would be returning animatronics and oddities and curiosities. We're going to read everything on here and just kind of break it down for a minute here. We don't have any pictures yet, but let's see what this thing says. The top says, welcome to the carnival. Now, I'm usually not really into the carnival themes. I'm not a big clown guy, but this does look awesome. I love the design of this already. Our latest attractions coming soon. Browse the current animatronics now. Oh, I guess all that means is you click on there and you can go buy whatever animatronics they already have available. Which, as you already know if you've been paying attention, we have Rick Ratman, we have Clowning Around, and we have Return of the Rising Creepy Doll, which you guys know is one of my favorites of all times. I need to put her together again very soon here. So anyways, let's keep moving here. Spirit Carnival is coming to town. The main attractions, guys, these are animatronics, brand new animatronics that they are bringing out this year for the Spirit Carnival. The Ringmaster, Nibbles the Clown, Bobby Strings, Cotton Candy Dan, and Barnaby the Bear. Now, I'm excited about every single one of these, but I gotta say, the first one that really grabs my attention that I'm really, really curious about is Cotton Candy Dan. I love the name. It really spikes my curiosity. I don't know if that means it's going to be like a giant piece of cotton candy whose name just happens to be Dan, and he animatronics at you and comes at you like he wants to kill you. He's probably going to be a clown with like pink hair or something like that. I don't know. As we go through these, you guys leave me comments and let me know what you think these are going to be. So the next one that really grabs my attention is Barnaby the Bear. He immediately makes me think of Monty the Monkey. So I would not doubt for a second that Barnaby the Bear is going to be kind of like an animatronic from like Chuck E. Cheese or something. That's what it makes me think of right off the bat. Or even like the Country Bears from Disney. I don't know why it makes me think of that. But it's Barnaby the Bear. It's going to be an evil killer bear from the Spirit Carnival. I can't wait to see it, and I wouldn't doubt it if that one is going to be in a cage. And I don't mean a cage that we would actually get with the animatronic when we buy it, but in a cage set up in Spirit when we go into the stores. The Ringmaster sounds totally awesome. So does Nibbles the Clown, but Bobby Strings also gets my attention. I love these ones that just kind of throws a hint at you, and you really don't know what is going to be coming. Bobby Strings? What in the heck could that be, guys? You tell me in the comments below what you think it is. What do I think Bobby Strings is? What do you think Bobby Strings is? <laughs> what do you know? You only have one eye. So Bobby Strings. I don't know. I mean, it could be some kind of an evil animatronic playing a guitar or something. My light just burned out. Holy crap. Maybe it's a sign. Maybe it's a sign. Anyway, you know what? I hope it is not one of those like cheesy things that you see at like Big Lots that's like a, a skeleton sitting there playing a banjo or something. Of course, I don't know. I would love to see Spirit's take on that. So Nibbles the Clown, obviously he's a clown. I thought we already had a Nibbles though. Not from Spirit, but like Lowe's or something? I don't, I don't remember. I'm probably wrong, but I thought we had a Nibbles the Clown animatronic already. Um, the Ringmaster. Who just put out... Oh, Party City. 
Party City just put out, oh, it's the Fire Eater that I'm thinking about. Party City just put out a Fire Eater, not a Ringmaster. But he would go perfect in this theme. Okay, we're not going to talk about Party City right now. We're talking about Spirit Halloween, the Ringmaster. I'm really curious to see what they come up with with that. So next in line is the Limited Time Engagement featuring... First up is Art the Clown, guys. And if you don't already know, Art the Clown is the killer from the Terrifier movies. And just since we brought it up already, Party City did already put out an Art the Clown animatronic for this year. So I'm really interested now to see what Spirit comes up with and kind of compare the two. Last year, Party City and Spirit both had Leatherface. So did Lowe's. My favorite was the one from Party City. That one was... Oh my gosh, scariest animatronic I've ever seen in my life! I haven't put it together yet, that's coming soon too. Let's stay on track here. Next up is Ghostface. I hope that means that they are coming out with another new Ghostface animatronic. I hope this isn't just like referencing different props and things that they have in the store from these movies. Scream, Terrifier, Halloween... We also have Michael Myers. Does that mean we're getting a new Michael Myers animatronic? And it also says Emily and Victor. They are the characters from The Corpse Bride. So does that mean that we are getting an Emily and Victor and or animatronics? Is it going to be one? Is it going to be two? Are they going to be animatronics? Or is this just referring to the kind of props and things they already have in the store? I would think it means animatronics, because at the beginning of this it says, these are the animatronics. So next up we have a blast from the past, and guys, these are returning animatronics that are coming back this year. It's kind of funny that it only mentions three on here, because as you know, we already got the creepy rising doll coming back. So there could be more in tow. This may be just kind of telling a couple of them. So we have Cerberus, the three-headed dog. Is it three-headed or two-headed? I believe it's the three-headed dog. I don't own that one yet, but I want it. It spits fog and it's awesome. Next up is the Twitching Banshee. I don't own that one either, and I have never seen it in person, so I'm really excited to see that one. And last but not least, from the blast from the past, the returning animatronics, we have Creepy Towering Clown. That guy is definitely creepy. I don't own him either, but if you remember that setup, he used to stand right beside Hugs inside the store. So the last thing we have here then, guys, is Oddities and Curiosities. Gravestone Ghoul, the Night Terror, <laughs> Wanda Webworth, Giant Death Ray, the Cremator, Mac Straw, oh, a haunt former animatronic, Dark Princess, and Demonic Gatekeeper. Now, again, usually I don't go for stuff that's like demons or horns. Demonic Gatekeeper sounds so scary right now. And I do love Demonic Dahlia. She doesn't have horns. So she is one that one of these days I will buy. So I'm not wiping everything completely off the slate just because it has the name Demonic in it. But I don't know, Gatekeeper kind of tells me this thing's probably going to be enormous and have some horns and be evil and maybe even some fog. You guys tell me what you think. I have not seen any kind of pictures of these or anything yet. I don't even know if they're out there on the internet. I have not looked. Gravestone Ghoul, that just immediately makes me think of the one that comes out from behind the gravestone. Um, I don't know, maybe it's going to be something like that. The Night Terror? I just have no idea. I have no clue. But wouldn't it be cool if the Night Terror was an animatronic that, like, came up over something so that it could maybe be set up with a bed or something, you know? So, like, if you were having a dream and the Night Terror comes up over top? I don't know. That kind of requires a lot of somebody to set up their own prop there with a bed and stuff like that. But I'm just saying it would be cool. Wanda Webworth. <laughs> That's got to be like a gigantic spider or something. The giant death ray? That's got to be a giant gun of some kind? Maybe it's something from Killer Clowns from Outer Space? I don't know. The Cremator? Oh my gosh. I I'm really, really curious. Probably the one that I am the most curious about 
out of all the oddities and curiosities would be Mac Straw. I love the name. I love how it's Mac because I love the Hunt Former. Check them out on YouTube. This is not a sponsored video. Love you, Hunt Former. Peace. <laughs> Max Straw. I just can't even begin to imagine, guys, but I love the name. And last but not least, the Dark Princess. Yeah, I, I just, I can't even tell you how excited I am to figure out what all of these are. I know you're excited to see them with your one eye. Man, this is, this is a totally awesome sneak peek here. Even though we don't get to see anything, I'm so excited just to get all the names in one place at one time. The very bottom here says, Thrills and chills await. Enter at your own peril. All attendees must sign insurance waiver before entering. <laughs> and I love how the bottom of this here has the Carnival Admit One ticket. That is really, really cool. So guys, that is just a quick look here at what they released today. Um, apparently telling us about all the latest, all the new animatronics coming, and okay, it does say our latest attractions coming soon, so it does not say, I read it wrong with my one eye, it does not say these are all animatronics. So, man, these could be anything, guys. Art the Clown, Ghostface, Michael Myers, Emily and Victor, those could be foam babies, like last year, we had Leatherface, we had Pennywise, Ghost... We, we already have a Ghostface one, so that's probably wrong right there. I don't know. I hope they are animatronics. But the blast from the past, we know that Cerberus, Twitching Banshee, and Creepy Towering Clown are animatronics. And the Oddities and Curiosities, I would be willing to bet that almost all of those are animatronics, if not all of them. The only thing that might not be is the giant death ray. I don't know. We're just going to have to find out. Out. It's June 3rd right now. The flagship store opens on August 1st. 2024 Halloween season is coming fast, guys. I don't know about you, but I'm ready. <laughs>